Next, we visit Mawara Manor, another garden inspiration to Paul. Mawara was designed in the early 1930s for some very wealthy spinsters and was originally known as The Grove. It is recognised as one of the most famous surviving examples of work by the renowned garden designer, Edna Walling. We're here at Mawara, high up in the Dandenong Ranges. The garden was originally created in 1932 for three sisters. And for me, the greatest thing about this garden is the stonework. Edna Walling was really known for her more cottage style gardens, for her softer planting styles. And this garden certainly contains some of this. But for me, this grand flight of staircase and this beautiful pond and stonework is the main feature. Edna Walling was very heavily influenced by Gertrude Jekyll and Edward Lutyens. And you can see this in some parts of the garden. But for this main staircase and these lovely terraces, she'd bought a book called The Italian Gardens of the Renaissance. And you can see that classical influence, this beautiful big wide staircase. The scale of this is just incredible. And the flight of stairs is so beautiful as you sweep up towards the house. And the curved part of the stairs, this very generous wide part, the very shallow steps. You don't see this anywhere else in Australia in a private garden. From here, this sweeping staircase drops off on a very steep slope down to a reflecting pond. But to the sides of those, these wonderful moss walks with azaleas and rhododendrons and maples, very soft, very casual, and juxtaposes with this very symmetrical, classical stonework. I am here uh, with several of my workers and I live in this amazing garden and we are going to restore it. We've been assigned to restore it over the next eight to ten years and some people would say that this garden doesn't necessarily need restoring but uh, all the stonework which is absolutely magnificent uh, has been partially destroyed by one of Edna's favourite plants. Um, dear Erigeron, seaside daisy. It's a mammoth task in what we're about to do. Uh, we are, have set this up as the Edna Walling experience where basically people can come and stay in this environment, experience the 1932 garden. Unbelievable in today's terms, this whole garden cost 2,000 pounds when it was first created. The owners went overseas while it was being built and they came back and saw all this stonework without the trees, without the softening plants around it and thought it looked like Pentridge Jail. There was a slight fight about the cost of the stone and over 20 shillings for the delivery cost of the stone and Edna Walling had a hissy fit and walked away from those clients and never came back to those clients again. Edna Walling described this garden as a symphony of steps and beautiful trees and today you can see these beautiful mature trees right throughout the whole garden. At the bottom of the sweeping staircase, we have a magnificent pair of beech trees which flank the path and just sit majestically either side. And dotted through the rest of the garden, there's beautiful oak trees, elm trees. We get the benefit of her beautiful planting as mature trees today. This garden is perfectly suited to this environment. We're up here in the Dandenong Ranges of Melbourne. We're about a thousand metres above sea level. We have beautiful, rich volcanic soil. And the planting style really relates well to that. And with the period of time, the 80 years that's passed, we can see this wonderful mature garden. From the moment you arrive at this garden, it's a process of discovery and surprises. The driveway is really narrow and contained and it's long. So you drive at this very dark driveway and arrive at the house in a, in a massive light. And as you walk around the garden, there's all these secret paths that take you to little areas that you don't discover until you actually come upon them. There's a wonderful old cottage which was actually built almost like a doll's cottage that they used to go stay in. And you don't see this until you actually come across a little fern walk and arrive at this cottage. Just walking around the garden is just a great process of surprise. It's not often you get to visit one of these gardens, and this year you can actually visit it yourself. On the 18th and 19th of April, it'll be open to the public. So come up here to Mawara at Sherbrooke in the Mount Dandenong.